Greetings, folks. Daniel Wickwire here, and this is just the usual intro. This is not the usual video. Of course, I'm joined by uh, my lovely wife, Angela, and we're going to do that Q&A video, and I guess Zach's here, too, in, in spirit. I'm, I'm here, too, brother. <laughs> in spirit. <laughs> so we, we've compiled some some questions we would, uh, or questions we were asked, and we would like to uh, answer said questions in this forum style video, right? Public forum? Yeah, it's public forum. In video format. Yeah, so we're gonna start, uh, dear, if you would like to. I, I don't really know of anything else to say. We don't have news to give or, nope, no news. or movies to talk about, so. No. Good. You're, you're a question reader lady. Who's going first? Doesn't matter, just ask it. Okay. We'll be good. We'll, we'll, we'll roll with it. It's, it's ad-libbed. I don't know. I don't even remember the questions. I read them all. And she wrote them down, so I just... Okay. She told me not to think too hard about it, so... Well, and... That and... shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> no. Probably not. And now I probably should have thought a little harder about, about mine. Okay. So, Nick Jackson asks, Who is your favorite Ultraman? I don't like ever going first. You answer. I know the. An I know my answer, but you go ahead and go, dear. Oh, mine's Ultraman Zero. Ultraman Zero. What about you, Mister Zach? You know, I don't know. Uh, I I like Ultraman. I haven't. I'm not the most familiar with a lot of the uh, later variants. I'm more familiar with the early ones. If I had to pick one off the top of my head, I'd probably say Ultra Seven. You were such a never mind. All right, now it's fine. Whatever. I haven't, I haven't seen everybody can have a everybody can have a lot of the, like, have a, have a lot of the modern answer. stuff. Like <laughs> I haven't seen like Taro or that's okay. Seven's uh, good. Seven's a solid. Although, although the the one from the newer manga series is pretty pretty sweet design too. So oh like, yeah, I, I can't think of what it's called. There's a, a Meister Ultraman Meister something like that. I could be wrong. I don't know. I've read. I've got like one or two volumes, but I've not read any of them. Zach, your your answer to me, I like felt like the whole time is like he says seven, and that's like asking somebody who isn't into comic books, like, who's your favorite comic book superhero? And it's always Batman. Yeah. No, no, there's not. I'm just giving you a hard time. Seven is perfectly fine. He's he's very cool. He's really one of the most popular. The Zero derived because it's Ultraman. Zero is Ultraman Seven Son, so that's cool. I dig that. And I'm gonna have to go with another Ultra figures. Child, because my favorite is Ultraman Taro, because I love oh, uh, I love Storium Kosen. Storium Kosen. That's yeah. dumb. Well, it, okay. Now you mentioned this yesterday, and I did, or when we recorded the other day. Well, shoot, this video is going to be up before that. Well, never mind. I'm not going to say that. Ultraman Taro. It's got Ultra People boobs in it. It really does. I promise you. It's a yeah. It's the seventies. Oh, Next question. I didn't, like, I didn't like the Taro design, so screw you. I like the Taro design, man. He catches on fire and runs at people and they explode. There's nothing wrong with that. I will defend my answer to the end. To the end! Okay, next question. Trey Stewart asks, What is the worst kaiju movie you've ever seen? And the worst movie you've ever seen, period. Go ahead, Zach. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, shoot. That's a tough one. Uh, worst kaiju movie? Oh, God. What was that one we just did? <laughs> <laughs> what was the one we just did? Uh, uh, no, I can't, I can't say Dragon that because Wars. that video won't be out yet. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's a joke. Uh, uh, no, I'm kidding. I'm ki uh, you know, eh. it was fun for what it was, but I, I, I almost want to say, uh, I mean, we dogged on it a lot, but I almost want to say attack the super monsters. No, that's all just right. because it was such it was such a mess, man. Like just narratively. <laughs> what about what was it? What was it? Master Tyrannus. What was his name? Crush, kill, destroy. destroy. Yes, love it. You no, know, I, I, I'll throw in though my favorite one will always for and forever be Attack of the Card Monsters. Yes, Attack of the. Hey, that movie wasn't that bad. It was bad. No, but it wasn't no, that bad. no. Oh, come on, Dan, you're ruining it. Card what? monsters is our running gag. I get bro. the running gag. It's one of those, like it's one of those things. If we, ever have, if we ever get to the point where we can have T-shirts, we have to have 
We have to have t-shirts for random white guy and and uh, and uh, card monster. I just want this like in, like an animated like this this like cartoonish version of a guy like bursting into a door with papers like I've got your solution. Like I, I don't know, <laughs> I mean, just out of the blue. I, dude, I want to memorialize that guy. Don't, don't, Everybody don't. needs to know him. Don't don't diss random white guys. No, He's but it, I know I like random white guy. That's why we're carrying on with this. What what about you, wife? What do you? Oh wait, no, hold on. Whoa, but what's your worst movie of all time? You didn't answer that part of the question. It's a two phase. Ugh, that's uh, that's uh, it's tough. Um, yeah, it's one of those questions like you get put on the spot. It's really hard to like. <laughs> think yeah. of what your worst movie ever would be um yep I, I if you need time i can answer or do you have yeah go you, you go ahead let me give me like a second inject wife oh, well i don't i don't in my defense i haven't seen very many kaiju movies i mean you have less to pick from well yeah <laughs> i do and i would have to say that the giant claw was probably the worst kaiju movie Movie. I know you love it. <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. Roll with it. And the worst movie I've ever seen, period, has to be... Go ahead. <laughs> I'm good. The live-action Frank and Weenie from, oh, like, yeah. the 80s or where, whatever year it was. Oh, gosh, it was horrible. I, yeah, fair. I've never <laughs> seen either one. I remember when the newer one, the CG version, came to theaters. I was working at the movie theater at that time. Oh, I never watched it, so I was like, whatever. Uh, mine would be worst kaiju movie would be Super Monster Gamera because it's just awful and worst movie I'm trying to think of something I can actually I'm going to regret this choice because later after the fact I'm going to think of a movie that was way worse than this but I'm going to say Monos uh, Hands of Fate Monos Hands of Fate because the movie was so bad, the, M, the, the movie was so bad that the guys in MST3K couldn't make the first fifteen or twenty minutes of that movie funny. That is why it was so bad. Oh man, that oh. that's uh, that's a good answer. Like I haven't even, I, I that's that's but no, uh... it, it's got to be that or Arachnia. I, I you just just look into it. It's just awful. But go ahead, Zach. Do you have your part two? Oh, engaging um, stage two. Yes. Gosh, I'm trying to think. I, I figure it's gonna be something that was on like, ah, uh, something bad that was on like back in the day. Like, you, you remember the old sci-fi Saturday anime block? Like, I'm sure yeah. there's got some stuff oh. that we watched on there that was awful. Oh, um, uh, not of the cockroaches. <laughs> Ugh, God, that's that's pretty bad. That's oh man, that is that is up there. Um, ah, gosh, I just just say I something really, you don't like because there's no pass in this game. <laughs> there is no passing in this game. Um, oh man, I totally, I just had, I had something and it told my mind just went blank. <laughs> Oh, I'm just trying to think. What's the worst movie I ever watched? Um, 35 yards from the green. He's going what? for a eagle in this hole. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> um, the freaking uh, uh, I don't remember. As I think it was Adu Galaxy Express 39, and I I don't want to say that movie because I know that the Galaxy Express series has like a huge legacy in the anime community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but it just it just wasn't for me, man. Like, no offense to, right. no offense to uh, you know Leiji Matsumoto who was responsible for that that mar that garbage. But you know maybe <laughs> it's because I saw it. Maybe it's because I saw it before, uh, um, before any of the other stuff in in that franchise, and that could have ruined the movie for me. But yeah, that's uh, that is that's definitely up there. Like. Yeah. Fair enough. That's, that's there's some there's answer. some bad crap. It was yeah, you know, and I I just I don't know. There there's some there's some bad crap that they that they played on that that network back in the day. Yeah, that it wasn't like there was a bunch of anime to pick from. So go ahead, dear. Next one. Is that right? Twenty. What? Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's correct. Okay. That's correct. I'm gonna butcher this name too. 
We apologize. Yeah, I apologize. Wait, who is I it? I apologize. 2006 Abel? I guess. Yeah, sure, why not? Go with it. Zilla2006 Abel asks, when Godzilla vs. Kong comes out in 2020, who is going to win? I know the correct answer to this. I know who I, I think, want to win, but that's not well, the way it's going to happen. I think I know who you want to win, but I have a feeling it's going to be... <laughs> it's going to be Kong. No, I know who it's, who it's going to be. King Ghidorah. King Ghidorah's just going to show <laughs> up. Why not? King Ghidorah. Yep. It's all a mechanic Kong. Yep. Mechanic Kong's going to happen. King, King Ghidorah is pretty, pretty awesome, I gotta say. What's gonna happen is nobody's gonna win. That's exactly what's gonna happen. It's they're either gonna nobody knock each other out. It's gonna knock each other out, or they're going to... It's. I bet you... Here's my prediction. It's going to end almost identical to the 62 film, where they're both gonna fall in the water, and you know Kong's gonna swim out, off, and then you'll see like a post-credit scene or something that Godzilla's still alive. That's, what you'll, that's what's gonna happen. Nobody's gonna win that. Because it's too really big franchise characters, legacy characters, and they're never going to let that happen. It's like people are like, you know, let's have Gamera and, and Godzilla fight. If those two fought, they nobody would win. It would be a draw in some way. They'd figure out some way to get out of it because too many different people have too much invested company-wise. They don't want their monster to go down. Toho doesn't want their monster to lose. Universal or Warner Bros., whoever has the rights to Kong now, they don't want the Kong to lose, so it's going to end that way, or another monster is going to show up and they're going to team up. It's going to be like a buddy cop film <laughs> with Kaiju. <laughs> Book them. It's, it's a, it's a buddy ground, Kaiju down film. Down the ground. No, they're, I think they're going to they're gonna fight each other, and somebody else is going to show up, and then they're going to fight them and be, you know, yeah, be friends. and Cop skipping into the sunset only game. Well, let's hope there's none of the whole be no, friends and skipping into the they'll, sunset. They'll have to, uh, they'll have to join forces, uh, and then Mothra will show up, and nobody will know why she's there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yep. And everybody will give credit to Mothra. They're like, oh, Mothra, you saved the day! Like, it didn't do anything. I want Mothra to die. I just want to say that right now. Like, I'm sure it's just me being bitter right now, and I do like the character, but I really want Mothra to, in this film arc, be dead at some point. Through the means of another kaiju. Not gonna happen. No, it probably isn't. That's just wishful <laughs> thinking. But go ahead, next question. Yep. Okay, how do you say this? Is it Vlor Sutez? It's Vlor Sutez. Vlor Sutez. He's a very... He's a, he's a, he's a loyal viewer. He's yes, always he commenting. Is. He's always letting us know what's going on. We appreciate that. Okay. So, Vlor Sutez asks, What movie, monster or kaiju, made, made you a fan of the genre? Mine has to be Ghidorah. There you go, that's, King Ghidorah. That's, There's your answer. That's it. What about Zach? What about you, Zach? Well, I mean, it's obviously got to be, I mean, Godzilla. I mean, Godzilla movies got me into the whole thing. Yeah. I mean, can I? Can there really be? Can there really be another <laughs> answer? I mean, granted, since then I've I've grown to like the uh, Godzilla Rogues Gallery, as it were, a little bit more than the the big guy himself. But oh yeah. I mean, there's so many cool choices to pick from. I mean. Dora, Gigan, uh, Gabra. <laughs> oh, let's go real obscure. Let's go. Um, how about uh, Goran? Oh no, no, Gorath's the planet. Magma, magma, yeah. Or uh, you know, Mogera. Show a Mogera. Uh, uh. Oh. Um... What was that that TV show Zone Fighter? Yes, there you go, Zone Fighter. We can roll it in. It's part of Toho. It's it's part it's canon. Yep. But my my answer is going to be the same thing. Uh, it's Godzilla, just because that's what we grew up watching. You know, that was the that was the, of course we watch I watched a bunch of movies, and I'm sure Zach did too. Um, that I, if I remember correctly, but. Uh, Dan, Dan, me. don't lie. You like Spectre Man. Spectre Man is awesome. Why does, does nobody he, like it? He does. He 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 does everything. As he you know. It's Doctor. He does all the Spectre can. He he does all of the Spectre can. That he he's like the he's like Captain Planet before Captain Planet. And he wears gold. He's gold with maroon pants. And he's got Doctor Gory and Chorus, and they're like the best thing ever. I love the English dub of that show. But is he our hero? Is he going to take pollution down to zero? No. It doesn't have Jeff Goldblum in it either. Yeah. Dan, Dan also likes... Or, or Meg Ryan. Uh, oh, yes, Dan true. Also, 
Yeah, D- Dan also likes him some uh, some Red King. I do, I do, I do. It's true. I like Red but King. It, it'll be it'll have to be Godzilla, and in, in a really indirect way, as most people, dinosaurs inevitably got me into kaiju because dinosaurs, and you have giant monsters which are a lot like dinosaurs, and there you go. Good question, though. All these are good questions. The one that made us think the most, though. Well, we'll talk. I'll talk about that later. Go ahead, dear. Okay, and Kevin Clark asks, outside of the kaiju genre, what would you say are your favorite movie monsters? Okay, so movie monsters that are not kaiju. And that means, I'm assuming, this is the rules we're going to play by. Kaiju obviously appear in Japanese films. Japanese or Asian films don't necessarily have to be giant, but can't be called kaiju directly and can't be... A remake of an Asian property. So no legendary Godzilla, no kaiju for Pacific Rim. It has to be American or some other form of monster. You you, you were talking well, about this yesterday. Well, but what was the the, whole, the all encompassing? Oh, all encompassing what? That I was talking about the Universal. Yeah, I like the Universal monsters. But you gotta pick one. You can't just say all. I can't all. pick one. I like Dracula. I like Dracula. Okay, there Dracula. Go. There you go. That's fair enough. What about you, Zach? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, you know, after after watching the uh, the the movie uh, recently for the thing, I gotta I gotta say I'm kind of a I'm kind of a fan of the Gill Man. I, yeah, that was. <laughs> I was actually gonna be mine too. I was gonna say uh, probably the Gill Man. Gill Man's really cool. Oh, you are related, so sometimes you will like the same thing. No, it's just a genetic thing. It was just a roll of the dice. You can't blame it on that. It's horse crap. It's got nothing to do with us being raised in a similar environment. No. All right, what you gonna say? Okay. Um, what we say about what? I forget. What's your answer? Oh, it's the Gill Man. I and mean, it's got to be the Gill Man. I mean, that's I, I love the creature of the Black Lagoon. I love the movies, except for the third one I've never seen, which we'll have to fix that soon. Right, Zach? Yep. Can't be any better than the second one. <laughs> KMR needs KMR needs some uh, needs some Reptilicus too. Oh yeah. Oh no, it's loose. <laughs> oh god. What? Uh, one we, more question. We got one more question. We, Okay, okay. It's, okay. It's, it's, it's monster bites related, so yeah, this will so mainly only pertain for, to me, so I apologize for, for excluding you two. I will read, I will read the whole thing because it's really long. Um, JW, do you think that you would ever tackle more non-traditional monsters for your monster bites videos? I.e. creatures that are not giant monsters, but more human size, like mummies, humanoids from the deep, robot monsters, Tobar, or the human vapor. Perhaps a monster bite episode that deals with Bram Stoker's The Jewel of the Seven Stars, a book that has a female mummy figure to tie in with the new mummy movie. And he also says, by the way, long time watcher, first saw your stuff eight years ago, and I'm glad to see you back. And I commented on this, and I, I appreciate, I've gotten a few people when we started, we started this back up uh, just this past September, and I, I like, I have more and more people are coming out and saying, hey, it's good to have you back. And we appreciate it. We're trying to do stuff like this to add more content. It's not just the same old, same old. But I do appreciate uh, having you guys back. Because we like being back. And we like doing this stuff. And we're trying to make it more involving. And well, Some more than others. Well, yeah, you're just here. You're along I for the ride. I just to get roped into it. <laughs> you got suckered into it. Hey, I left you alone for the first eight years. For the most part. Because it was your thing. Yeah. No, you did ask me to do stuff and you got mad when I said no. Did I? Yep. I'm sorry. See, I'm rude. I'm insensitive. But anyway, we never, we never did do the, uh, we never did do that opening uh, to one of your videos that we planned on doing, where we were gonna do the uh, uh, symphony of the night. Oh yeah. Well, shush, 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 shush. We'll cut that out. Cut that. No. Just, shush, shush. Anyway, to answer this gentleman's question, yes, we would love to do more humanoid sized monsters and we'll, and we'll definitely get to that and I like the suggestion about the I didn't know there was the female mummy um, the movie you mentioned I, I completely forgot the name because um, my memory is terrible Jewel of the seven, seven Stars Jewel of the Seven Stars there you go. thank you dear um, 
And I would love to do that because I think the new Mummy movie looks really cool. The yes. trailers, I, I like that it's different. I like I like change. I mean, it's cool to see the Mummy done, but it's been done a lot. And I love the the originals, and I love the one with Brendan Fraser, except for the third one, which was just ass. But yeah, we'll we'll talk about stuff like that. I'm not doing humanoids in the deep because, like I told Angela, I'm going to bring this up. I won't be able to talk about a straight face without mentioning the very inappropriate rape scene in the movie. So no, I don't know if we'll do humanoids from the deep. Preferably skip over it, but you never know. Anyway, but yeah, what was the other robot monster? Yes, you are a human. I am a roman or whatever it is. It's just you've got to watch. It's just oh, it's awful. But it's it's good stuff. We might have to repeat it. But yeah, we'll see more of that. And on Monster Bites and KMR, we'll we'll talk about it at some point. How does a gorilla with a scuba mask survive on land i don't know what do you want from me <laughs> we'll figure it out there, things will come i'll i'll think of random stuff or you guys will make suggestions and hopefully you'll make suggestions and we'll make something of it all the suggestions all every last one like lamprey we, like suggestions. we could talk about lamprey there is there a movie with giant lamprey monsters in it i don't know if we have that one I only think of Electro we'll from Pokemon, it. but no, sorry, I just I don't know why I thought of Lamprey. But anyway, that is it for your questions for this time. Uh, if you feel free to post more if you'd like below or in our, to our email, uh, we do appreciate everyone we got, and uh, hopefully this was informative slash entertaining. I don't know. Yeah. What do you think, dear? She's just here. That's all right. But we do appreciate you guys for tuning in. Uh, we were a little late with it. To be honest, it was supposed to be up Thursday. Somebody we kind of uh, forgot about it. Just uh, me, just me. <laughs> just you're like she's actually the one that reminded me. She's like, you realize it's like Friday night. We've not recorded that video. I'm like, uh, what blame Zach for it? Sorry, I didn't Zach. do anything like, this time. That's the problem. Is you didn't do it. You didn't tell us. You didn't do enough. But thank you guys for tuning in. I'll be back not this week coming up, but next week. We'll be streaming Ultraman Ball. So in the meantime, like I said, feel free to post more comments. Ultra we'll do more. Ball. Q <laughs> exactly. We'll do more <laughs> Q and A's. Uh, we'll, we we've talked about maybe doing a maybe doing a KMR live if we could figure out exactly how to get it set up. But we'd love to do that. That'd be fun. Get you guys involved. So we'll see how it goes. The more people come in, more growth we get. The more more extra things. stuff we can do. Oh, and Colossal still up in the air. Yeah. We don't know what's going on with Colossal. So I'm going to try my best. I might have to go see it myself, and I'd still really want to, but we'll see what's happening. But enough of that crap. We'll see you guys next time. Zach's waving in spirit. I am. <laughs> <laughs>